Are we live? I think we're live. How's everybody doing? Happy Thursday. Hey, hi, and hello. I want to talk about um, something that just really is on my heart, and that's your personal power. You'll see in the title, it says personal power, um, mindset, energy, money, business. So all the things. Uh, but mainly I want to talk about mindset on today and in this particular broadcast I'm going to talk about some spiritual growth stages and I normally reserve that for a different platform now if you're watching me on YouTube then we talk about all the things inner work healing business mindset all of them but I normally reserve the inner work and healing for my other pages but I think that it's time to really, you know, I think I may have introduced it over here a few times, but I want to talk a little deeper about it today because I understand that it's a huge aspect for what transpires in your business. <clears throat> and so I have these spiritual growth stages that identify different characteristics um, and different mindsets that we as women have as we access these different stages and that first stage is the standard cis stage now in this particular stage the space of being for a person operating in that space is more of someone who is still kind of functioning in victim mentality and i'll i'll share with you more of what i'm talking about because that was me um a while ago when i was married there was a space and time where I was so focused on how I was being victimized um, because even though the goal is to not be the victim but the victor it doesn't mean that you aren't being victimized it doesn't mean that people aren't doing things that are not fair to you but in this particular stage a woman is still operating in victim mode so everything is everyone else's fault um, they have not stepped into a space of full responsibility and this rolls over not only in their relationships but how they live out their life if they are even in their business it will be difficult for them to see where there's room for them to actually do improvement because in their mind they are the victim and a lot of times something has occurred somebody dropped the ball somewhere where a person feels like they were done wrong and they just never really move out of that space now oftentimes when a person is in this space you don't have to get therapy so i didn't go to a therapist i think me being a life coach and having been cert certified i was able to coach myself but for many people who find themselves in this stage it may be necessary to to get therapy because what happens is it makes it very difficult for you to be able to move forward and really process things in order to like move forward in your business um, this is a space where people often give up really quickly um, you know just kind of throw in the towel on things because their personal power has been diminished again I'm saying you don't have to have therapy but I do see a lot of instances where people's first step will be therapy then to come and get coaching and do other things like that because that particular stage is really hard to see where you can take initiative because of the spiritual growth stage that a person may find themselves in which is that standard stage um, this stage you complain a lot in this particular stage um, again, it's normally attached to where somebody has dropped the ball, but it is a real thing and it is it can become a huge hindrance in your business when it's time to learn something new. Everything will be overly complicated, overly difficult um, because as the space of being, you're, it's just everybody else's fault. And, you know, it's a, it's a space that in order to really go to the next level, this is where... Um, emotional intelligence and personal growth is super super important because there are going to be things that we do inside the space of growing our business that we got to be accountable for there will be moments and times where it feels like maybe it's not working or things have slowed down and if you're operating in the victim mindset you won't see yourself as having the personal power to be able to do something differently now 
this actually, if we had to talk about a growth mindset and a fixed mindset, this is where that space would be. So a growth mindset, someone who's operating in a growth mindset, they feel like even though it's something they don't know how to do, they can figure it out. The possibility of them being able to figure it out is, is very likely. They're in a space of possibility and um, uh, just everything is from a what would be the word that I could use for that? Optimistic. They're very optimistic. A growth mindset is very optimistic. Whereas a fixed mindset will see something. If they get it wrong, like the first time, they immediately just throw in the towel. They say they can't do it. Um, that's a fixed mindset. That mindset is normally operating from a very low, vibra low vibrational space of fear. So fear is normally running the show for people when they're in that fixed mindset um, there are going to be things in our business and in our life that we're not going to get right the first time and if that mindset is the space of being that you're in it will keep you in this comfort zone that you're not really comfortable in you will have something that's very similar but your mind is making it like overly hard because you are in that space of being the victim so if it's everybody else's fault it means that you don't have the power to fix it the mindset that's what that mindset is saying and so oftentimes uh, the person who finds themselves in uh, the standard cis stage is operating in a, a fixed mindset again their personal power has been diminished from some incident something that has occurred for me um you know i just felt like I, you know, everything was my spouse's fault, although there were things that he was doing, as long as I kept that mindset, I couldn't come out of my situation. It wasn't until I no longer saw myself as a victim, until I began to step into a new growth stage, spiritual growth stage, a new space of my personal power, so that I could do things differently. Imagine, so I was married 14 years, I ended up divorcing, I left my marriage home. The decree was I could either keep it and do a buyout and give him the money or you know, he could have it, do a buyout and give me the money. I chose a completely fresh start. There's no way I could have chosen that high vibrational move if I was still in the space of being a victim because I would have felt like there's no way that I could do this, right? Because I would have given most of my power away. People give their power away to the government, you know, watching the news, all kinds of things, all kinds of places where people see themselves as the victim. But irregardless of who the president is, irregardless of how the economy is, when you have a growth mindset, then you know you can push through it. You know you can, you have enough confidence, right? You're centered enough to know that you can figure it out. That is a growth mindset and i wanted to talk about that today because i i mean i've seen it hold people back tremendously where something that's supposed to be really really simple is always difficult it's always hard um and and it's almost as if when a person is operating in that standard cis stage they're actually looking for things to be wrong they're looking for things to go wrong because they're in their mind they've already decided that th they can't make it happen so they have to find things that line up with this mindset that they have does this make sense let me know if this makes sense and i unfortunately i can't see um let me see if i can see the comments 